Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. First thing I want to say is thank you all for your patience while I work and I slave away at my uh, work before finals. Um, this video is going up on Tuesday, recording this Monday night. Um, so I have a final tomorrow and a final the next day and then I'm done. But I still have a lot of work before one of them. So, um, you know, I would appreciate if you could continue to be as patient as you have been. Uh, I've actually gained more subscribers over the time I haven't uploaded than I uh, do while I'm uploading usually. But that's, you know, that's not really the point. That's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't expect a video before Friday, but uh, I'll see what I can do. I should be done with the work either... Um, part way through tomorrow or um, some of the time through Thursday, although if I'm as productive as I was today, earlier today, um, I might finish the work, you know, early enough tomorrow that it doesn't matter, or or I'll be close enough to done that I won't really mind taking the rest of the night off, which is what I'm doing today, because I, I really got a lot done. So, you know, videos might resume on a normal schedule sooner, I might be ready to pick up a second series, though feel free to suggest those whenever, um, you know, whenever. Uh, yeah, uh, this time it's the Samson run. Oh, by the way, you're perfectly welcome to leave your suggestions for custom challenge runs on this video as well. And, uh, by the way, I'm sorry if I haven't responded to your comments. Like, I haven't responded to, like, any comments on the last video. But I've read them all. I've kept, I've taken down the custom challenges that you've suggested. Don't worry. And, um, beyond that, I'm sorry if uh, you suggested one a while ago and I haven't done it or anything, there are definitely a lot of them. And I just... <laughs> I do play a bit of favorites. Oh, this run looks fun. This run looks like torture. You know, I think about that kind of thing. You know, I try to still have fun, but feel free to um, suggest again. Or, you know, just suggest anything you want. I totally wouldn't mind. And, you know, there's a good chance it'll still get done. I have, like, five or six, well, no, six, maybe eight challenge runs sitting around in my text file right now. But I think, it, you know, I don't know how many I'll get done. Because you keep suggesting them, and that means that I'm not going to run out of them. Yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, we're playing Samson. Like I said, Samson's uh, not a bro pretty much the hardest character to play because he has no real advantages. The item he starts with is terrible. He doesn't start with good damage. Well, he starts with normal damage apparently, but it seems terrible. And he just, uh, he doesn't have good health. He has no spectacular stats and a terrible item. It's really just, he has no reason to ever play him, except that you have to. Nope, oh, that was bad damage. And I was playing so well. Alright, that'll be that fight. We'll get a cube of meat. Uh, we got Mr. Mega, which was five bombs as well. as uh, Bombs are now huge. And do more damage, have a larger blast radius. Uh, yeah, I think I've now explained everything that happened here. Cube of meat rotates around us, blocks any tears. And damages any enemy it comes into contact with. It'll also stack with later cubes of meat to make a better meat something. Oh, soul heart. This is why you destroy fires and poops. So, uh, pretty much... Um, yeah, we're looking to beat the chest here, as always. And do I think that'll go well? Of course I do. It's gonna go great. I'm gonna get Mom's Knife in this here item room, and uh, then I'm gonna get, like, Polyphemus in the next one, and then it's gonna be game over because I'm gonna get a ton of health ups, and that's... You know, that's the whole story. In our boss challenge room, we have a range up. I don't really want that. It's totally not worth it. Because I just don't... I don't have the damage to make it worth it. It would be too much of a time sink. And it would just... It would just not be fun. And the reward would be so small, basically. Okay, so our item room is Polyphemus. Okay, so the next one will be Mom's Knife. 
but you know I had I had the general idea so polyphemus means we have these giant tears that shoot far less frequently but they also have a semi piercing ability where uh, if they kill an enemy but do more damage than that enemy has health uh, they travel through to do am to do damage to the next enemy they run into they won't travel through another one after that though all right so we got a health up and we've got to deal with the devil so our deal devil is Krampus. Okay. Should we win here? Krampus will drop the um, lump of coal. Lump of coal. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on, but I just... You know, I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Anyway, uh, what the lump of coal will do is uh, increase our tier's damage over distance. So the further it travels, the larger it gets and the more damage it does. So it's definitely a good item, and uh, I'll be happy to add it into my little array of stuff. And that went well, we didn't take any hits, so uh, we got our lump of coal. So yeah. I don't know if that affects like the gravity on the shots or anything, well, the, the time it takes for them to fall, the range, but I don't know. Of course it wouldn't affect the gravity, gravity should be a constant. But then again, the game physics may not be the same as real-world physics. Anyway, now we have a lot of money and can go to the shop. Undoubtedly. And of course, now it looks... Oh, you should have taken that range up because it would, that would make your uh, lump of coal more effective. Well, I didn't know that. And I guess I may as well take this because it's early in the game. Steam sale means everything will be half off. Some of those are rounded up, others are rounded down. And I'll take this pill because maybe it's tears up. Bombs are key. Okay, that's that's fine. We'll use this here. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd say that went pretty well. That means we got the extra key basically to open that up to give us more bombs. And uh, now I'm ready to go to the next floor where we're going to pick up Mom's Knife, no doubt. Uh, three soul hearts, two red hearts. Not going horribly, and I'm playing reasonably well. Curse of the Labyrinth means, uh, well, it's caves. That's really good. Um, Curse of the Labyrinth means that, means that I'm just having trouble speaking, I guess. There are twice as many rooms, there are two item rooms, but only one shop. And there are two bosses. It counts as uh, both Caves 1 and Caves 2. Unfortunate about the whole one shop business. So we got Maw. Maws and a red Maw. Maw is a weird word to say, because, I mean,. I don't know, it's one of those words that takes less time to feel like you're not saying a real word anymore, if you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's see what this pill is. Balls of Steel, probably. Puberty, so that didn't do anything. I'm just trying to uh, impart my psychic abilities uh, to cause the game to give me better stuff, you know? Uh, so I took a bunch of damage there. Uh, that's totally worth a bomb, because I have a bunch. And, oh, Flat Penny, that's really good. What that does is uh, every time we... That's not Mom's Knife. Every time we pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance that a key will drop as well. So, basically, it should allow us to get a ton of coins. Or a ton of keys. Provided we get a ton of coins. Uh, the Necronomicon is not a very good item. It uh, allows us to significantly damage every enemy in the room, but it's not very good on bosses. Uh, and it recharges every six rooms, which is why it's kind of a weak item. Like, it's a strong item, but it's not a strong item. You know, in the two different senses of the word strong. Okay, uh, but the, you know, Polyphemus is doing good work. I need more health, like, I need a way to feel confident in my health other than good play. Eh, I may as well use the Necronomicon here. Didn't think I'd make it out of there. There we go. Okay, so now we're just we're still looking for the second item room. I'm surprised that the layout has been so linear. Like normally on XL floors you'll get all of the rooms bunched up next to each other. But not today. Not this time. Uh, this is most certainly an annoying room. 
But uh, I haven't taken any hits yet, so that's cool. And also, sorry for the super long intro earlier. But, I don't know, I guess there was a lot to say. I might record a second one tonight, which means, uh... There's a chance that you'll get two Let's Play episodes in a row instead of, uh... A let's play and a challenge run, but I don't know if I want to do that because I'm thinking it's 11:30 uh, right now, which means I could be super productive and get back to work tonight, or I could just record more Isaac. Uh, I still have to do a short workout. It's very light today. It's just some arm stuff that I don't do other days. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure you all would like me to record another video, and, you know, I can understand that. I'd like to record another video as well, because, you know, it's nice to get them out and done and stuff. Man, I fire slowly. But I just wanted to destroy all the poop to be thorough. All right, let's see what this pill does. This one's got to be tears up. It's got to be. Range down. Oh, that's the worst. Really not getting too lucky. All right, just just feel free anytime. Yeah. All right, so we got the Necronomicon back. It's not saying much. Oh my God, what is with all these golden chests? Um, mostly right now, I just I want to find the other item room. Certainly before I go to the boss rooms. Even though I am doing like totally adequate damage due to Polyphemus, that just doesn't mean that I want to commit yet. I want to pick up a mom's knife. You know? I haven't taken much damage to this floor. That's, that's a good thing. I can one-shot all these guys. Alright, try that again. Thanks. You too. Alright. I'll just use it again here because, you know, that worked well last time and it worked well again. Oh, I have terrible aim, apparently really just looking for that second item room. Dogs and dogettes, I guess. The nice thing about the uh, double flies, I forgot what they're called, but I had looked them up. Anyway, uh, sometimes with Polyphemus you'll blow up the double fly, but you'll also kill one of the two flies it splits up into. So, you know, good times are had. They're all dead. You're still alive. You just saved yourself like a quarter second of work. Well, in my case, I'm shooting like once a second. It's slow as butts. I mean, I guess not all butts are slow. Oh, that might have been my first damage. I could have just lost the, uh, the Spelunker Boy achievement. Who knows? But it's okay. I'll have better runs. Alright, yeah, chests and chests. Good, I got another key. I kind of needed that. Um, okay. Last path is bound to be the item room, I'm sure. But yeah, no doubling up on rooms, just doubling up on the amount of rooms as you're supposed to. So it takes three hits, I guess, to knock these guys down. I didn't really pay attention last uh, room that I had Globins. Alright, so we got Red Maws and a Champion Red Maw and a couple of the Double Flies. And let's see what the champion drops. Hopefully a soul heart. No, just a coin, which didn't give us a key, but we got a key. In here we get a quarter, so I guess we'll go to the shop. A quarter, of course, gives us 25 cents, just as you'd expect it to. Unlike the dollar, which shafts you of a cent because you can't carry more than 99 cents. Oh, what a cheap game. So many Globin rooms, but you know, it's better than if this were uh, the other floor. Catacombs. Catacombs suck because of Wrath of the Lamb enemies. And that means we won't fight Wrath of the Lamb bosses, so that's good. Tower spawns six random troll bombs about the room. Uh, seven cent compass, heck yes. I don't remember what that pill does, but I also have way more than three cents and have a steam sale, so I'm just going to check it out. Oh, I don't know. It's telepills. I'm not going to go back for the tower. <laughs> Actually, yes, I am, because it's on the way. So, anyway, 
Uh, now we can finally fight those two bosses. Um, we won't have the Necronomicon, but that's okay because it's really ineffective against bosses. Which is another reason it's not a very good item. And hopefully we get a, you know, one hard deal with the devil, Mom's Knife. Well, of course, Mom's Knife is always going to be one hard unless you reroll something that costs two hearts to Mom's Knife. But, you know, I'd definitely be willing to make that trade. Or if we got Brimstone, I would trade both of my hearts for that. No, no questions asked, just because it's so strong, even though it would make our charge time absolutely absurd. Um, that would put me into glass cannon territory. Like, <laughs> no doubt. Oh, this is, this is scary times. But, um, Rage actually pulling its weight. As is, um, the Lump of Coal, which I'm definitely trying to make use of. Especially because Boom Flies are just, you know, Danger Town for taking full hearts of damage that you don't have to at all. Alright, we get a health up and damage up, even though it says tears up. I don't know if it does anything about uh, tears or shot speed or anything. Because I know a lot of items, in Wrath of the Lamb at least, that say uh, tears up are actually shot speed up, and a lot of items that are... Well, no, that's that's the whole that's the whole story. So I've, uh, I've been playing pretty poorly against Gertie here. But my damage is stacking a little bit just due to the few enemies we spawned. And, uh, I mean, hopefully I won't take another hit. Thus, uh, that still keeps the um, increased chance of a deal with the devil due to not taking damage against the boss. Okay, we get an angel room. Okay, Magic 8 Ball is one, of, one such item I was talking about. It says tears up, but it's actually shot speed up. Uh, death is a one-time activation of the Necronomicon, and uh, we get the Bible, which I will just keep. Yeah, sure, why not? Not like I was anxious to use the Necronomicon. You know, maybe I'll just use this to get a free mom kill and mom's heart kill. Uh, yeah, this should be the shop, hopefully. No, it's it's that thing. So I'll take the Book of Revelations, I'll touch the Monster Manuel, and, uh, you know... I'll just do the whole Bible. Shiz. I don't know, that's probably not the right choice. Maybe I won't do that. Alright, let's go take the Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations is probably far more valuable. Although, what I might do is take the Bible back at the end of the floor. I don't know. Book of Revelations, um increases the chance that we will fight a Harbinger, a Horseman of the Apocalypse. Uh, that was good maneuvering. Uh, as the boss. So this floor we should certainly be fighting uh, war. Hopefully not conquest. Oh look, it's the same room. Ah, screw it. Uh, okay, good. Getting those keys now. And that would give us our second key with me, which will be pretty valuable, I'd say, uh, because it'll add some more firepower for us. Probably vastly increasing our damage capabilities due to the fact that right now, our fire rate's abysmal. Um, you know, that, that's pretty much the moral of the story in its entirety. No, well, that was bad damage, but actually by taking that damage, uh, I've just increased my chances at more keys. Not that I did that on purpose, I actually didn't. Um, well, I certainly don't want to fight the boss before picking up as much health as possible, but I'd also rather find the item room where I'll pick up Mom's knife, of course. All I need is Mom's knife or Brimstone, but since I got an Angel Room, that just means that I'm most likely going to continue getting Angel Rooms instead of deals with the Devil. I don't know why I got an Angel Room, though, actually. Because I, I definitely took a deal with the Devil item, which was Lump of Coal. But I guess that counts as skipping a deal with the Devil or something, because I guess I didn't trade hearts when I went to a deal with the Devil Room. The more you know. Uh, chances at keys? Yes. Let's see what's in the item room. That's not Mom's Knife, but it is a good item, for sure. 
maybe I'll pick up Epic Fetus or something. X-ray vision uh, allows us to see through. Or it doesn't allow us to see through. It allows us to um, have access to every uh, secret room, entrance, and exit, which is really good. But you know that time it wasn't very beneficial. Uh, if the shop is over there, I can use the secret room. Yeah, okay, that is the shop. And there's some golden poop, because, you know, why not? Um, I can use the secret room to get in, but I can't use the secret room to get out if it is greed, which it probably is. Let's see what we got in here. If it's a bunch of money, I'll wait until after I've gone to the shop to uh, pick it up, because the more money you have, the more likely that greed is to show up. Let's see what we got here. Wheel of Fortune just got out of there in time. Uh, Wheel of Fortune spawns a thing. Alright, Super Greed. A. Oh my god, why, why am I blanking on the name of freaking slot machines and, or fortune teller machines? There we go. So, um, that's not very useful, all in all. Oh, that's bad. I'm falling victim to your standard Samson problems where I have no health, even if I have some damage. So anyway, I'm about to pick up a bunch of keys. Yeah. So now I'm pretty much set for keys for the rest of the game, unless I, want, I get a, like, a ton more golden chests. Oh, oh, that was such dumb damage. Oh my god. I just hate dealing with the eternal flies. Well, this room is butts. At least they only take two hits. Oh, no, three hits. I lied. But masks are just painful. Okay. What if you stay away? Unfortunately, that didn't have any benefit for us. Um, two bombs for two bombs is not a good trade. But, yeah, that should work. One bomb to go to the next room, as well as get to the Tinted Rock, which contains one Soul Heart, which is pretty valuable. So I'd say that was a pretty good trade, and I already lost it, and now I'm almost dead. Uh, well, if I lose this soon, oh, almost was right there. Uh, I'll certainly do another run today, and that means you guys will just get two Let's Plays in a row. Okay, I'm going to do this, and hopefully get some hearts. Because I got bunches of money, you know. And it's just time consuming. Apparently in the Binding of Isaac remake, they uh, want to make it so that arcades are less of time sinks. And I don't know how they'll do that, but I am totally cool with it. Like, that is something that I would certainly have requested. Apparently, though, uh, one of the things I requested uh, when I took the survey that Ed had, Edmund McMillan being Ed, the creator, um, I asked for like a detailed stats page, but apparently he wants that to stay vague and stuff, which is kind of lame. I don't know. I'd like to see, you know, how many times have I picked up this item or how many times have I killed this enemy? Those kinds of things. But I don't know what he meant by what he means by, you know, keeping it vague or what he means, you know, in general. You know, there are a lot of ways things could go. You know, you know, you know, you know. That's all I'm saying, apparently. Still not getting any freaking hearts. As, uh, you know, speak of the devil. You know, I sure would hate to get hearts. That would be the worst. Hint, hint. Yo. Oh, this is the first week in a while where I haven't been recording. Uh, closer. Like when Dexter is airing soon as opposed to just aired yesterday. Pretty important episode, I'd say. It was good times. Oh, thank goodness, another heart. That's the only reason I'm here. Alright, I'm leaving. That's good enough. Alright, now I can do one bomb for two. I'll do it. Okay, so now we gotta fight that boss. That boss, which should be war. And I'll get my second cube of meat if I don't die. Which is totally possible, by the way. I'm not 
you know, holding out any excess confidence for it. I, ugh. Yeah, I was gonna. About, I was about to say we should be coming across our top secret room, two soul hearts. No, that's two troll bombs. So that's not worth my time. And here is our boss room, which is war. Go figure. I'm so surprised. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, that should do some good. Ah, oh, that was bad damage. Uh, so I shouldn't be getting an angel room or anything, but I wouldn't expect it. Because I just got one last floor. Okay, so now he's already off his horse. That was super quick. But he's faster than me, almost certainly. It's just, I gotta do the damage before he hits me. Okay, and that should kill him. Second cube of meat, back to full health. Cube of meat will shoot along with us while still protecting us. Let's go! I'm not taking the Bible. Alright, so the compass showing me what's up here. Uh, the mini boss being up there means that we won't have one in the shop for sure. So I'd say we've had mostly good luck for shops. I think Meat Boy fires more frequently than me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, what I'm going to do is take that and shoot it in there and totally fail in my objective. Well, definitely profited for bombs. I kind of wanted the chest, but whatever. I'm going to fight the mini boss right now. I was going to say hopefully it's gluttony, but lust is cool too. You know, I'm chill with that. Am I going to get the drop? No. What does this pill do? I found pills. Nothing useful. But remember, like I was saying, we are certainly going to the shop this floor because it will be at least not a painful venture, if not a profitable one. Ah, man, I already lost my soul heart. Uh, Leaper's not always my best friends. If the game had just given me Mom's knife when it was supposed to, it wouldn't be a problem. Magician gives me homing tears for a room. And, uh, hey, you know, that's actually pretty good. Lard will be uh, one speed down, but two health up, though it will only fill one and a half of red heart of the health it gives me. I don't feel that slow, but of course I'm slow enough for uh, it to be a bad thing that I'm so slow. But I suppose I was slow enough for it to be a bad thing uh, before, so now it's just kind of scarier, I guess. But I'm still not too worried. Uh, I was hoping for a key there. Not that it matters. I'm 21. That's, that's a pretty good place to be. So let's just open this because, I mean, look at me. I've got 21 keys. Speed up. That's, wow. <laughs> Surprisingly perfect, I must say. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I'll just beeline for down, actually just to clear off everything. Uh, this is kind of, yeah, a scary room that, that I lost track of for a second and caused me to take damage. At least they're not as bad as the ones that shoot the, like, chub maggot things. Because those do a full heart of damage. That only did a half heart, it seems. So, in here, no thanks. We got another fortune, not fortune teller, mostly a machine, slot machine. So whatever. Don't really want to play it. Get back to full health one day somehow. Not from that poop. Uh, I won't be able to go into the boss challenge room. But that's not a big deal. Well, I mean, it could be nice, but I'll never know. There's, I'm not going down to one red heart. Uh, Isaac's Fork, no thanks. I'll stick with what I got. I'll certainly visit the library as well. Just, you know, get some books out of the pool. Oh, well, this sucks. That was kind of stupid. Well, that also sucked. Book of Revelations, but that won't affect the boss on this floor. Of course, the boss is mom. And there can only be one... Harbinger per floor. Per pair of floors, rather. Alright, so let's see what's in our shop. Got the treasure map. Cool. That'll just uh, add the rest to the map, so we'll have the full map every room, every floor. So you just see where every room is and what it is now. 
Uh, so let's see, Book of Sin, I'll certainly activate once. Get a bomb. Book of Belial. Eh, I'm gonna take it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the boss. Activate Book of Belial, doubling my damage. It'll recharge every three runes. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of enemies spawning, and it's kind of more than usual. Uh, the rock layout is also more containing than usual. Basically, I'm just in a way more disadvantaged position than usual. Yeah, I'm dead. Um, yeah, you know, Samson kind of sucks. So like I was saying, I actually, it's still not even midnight. I think I'm going to record another one tonight, but it's going to be a Let's Play, so you're going to have two Let's Play episodes in a row, and then... I don't know, I guess I'll upload two uh, challenge runs in a row to make up for it, if that, like, if you care. We'll see what happens. But, uh, for now, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.